Pokemon TCG anime in the game, which is the best. Now, recently I was having a pretty average day. I was working and thinking of Pokemon scenarios in my head, like always. And then I asked myself this question, which is the best, the TCG anime or the video game? Now, this is no simple question to answer, all right? This is like comparing a tomato to a peanut and then a peanut to my penis. Never mind, that was pretty bad because my penis is about the same size. But it is really hard to compare since the anime is basically you're watching a character go on their own Pokemon journey. The video game is you playing as a virtual character going through your own Pokemon journey. And the card game is basically throwing, you know, expensive cardboard at each other on, on a mat with some dice. And this is really hard to rank. So please don't hate me if my, you know, opinion is different from yours. You know, I know. A Opinions can be wrong, let's be honest. So definitely comment your guys' opinions and let me share mine. So so first off, in last place, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I have to put the Pokemon video game. This is actually pains me to say because the Pokemon games are like in the top three of my most played games of all time. Specifically, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I remember having several saves on that game that were over a hundred hours and like three saves that were over 200. I played Soul Silver so much. And not only that, but the games are so unique. They literally just let you live out this dream of every dream that every kid has ever had to go on their own Pokemon journey. And like as an 18 year old to this day, I still think about how it sucks that I can't go on my own Pokemon journey. I've actually considered so many times learning how to lucid dream so I can go on my own Pokemon journey. Yeah, guys. <laughs> But as you grow older and play these games several times, it eventually does get really repetitive. You can only play a game so many times and learn ins and out of it and then just completely get bored of it and never want to play it again because eventually you'll get caught up in using the same Pokemon over and over because you know they're the strongest. And in fact, I did this with COD Zombies. A huge reason why I can't play that game anymore is because I've overplayed it. I know how to do everything and it's just horrendous for me me to play but don't get me wrong the video games are awesome and very dear to my heart now number two we have the anime now you guys are already you know hating at hating on me for saying all this and all, all of you think my opinion is wrong and i agree with you guys this is this is just my opinion now i'm not a guy who likes anime in fact i hate anime so much but the pokemon anime has managed to be something so amazing that the pokemon anime just feels like a, a cartoon it feels like something you would watch on freaking boomerang like you know scooby-doo or or the smurfs or something like that this show is something of my childhood that i'm pretty sure i experienced the show before i experienced the card game or the video game now, there is some downfall with the Pokemon anime. I only really enjoy the episodes for, from Kanto up until the Unova region. I really feel like all of the episodes after that, that Pokemon has become not so mainstream, but trying to maintain being mainstream, that they really try to appeal the show to little kids, which I don't really enjoy. Now, always this show has been appealing to little kids, right? But these recent seasons have just felt like overblown own version of that and also let's not forget that there's several episodes where nothing happens it's just 20 minutes of nothing happening like that episode where dawn was being taught how uh dual things for her her pokemon fashion show that was one of the worst episodes of pokemon in history now last but not least you guys already know what this is because you know once i once i said number two was anime you know you you already know what number one's gonna be but it's the pokemon card game i can remember the Pokemon TCG as far back as I can remember. Whether it was other people's Pokemon cards or what. I actually remember the first day that I got my hands on my very own Pokemon cards. Uh, I traded my $40 Bakugan figure. I think it was like the seven piece figure. I forgot what it was called. I traded that for this little 40 card booklet that wasn't even full for Pokemon cards. No, to be honest, it was a scam. But to this day, I'm very grateful that I made that 
choice because who knows if that never happened i wouldn't be into pokemon today all day i used to read the cards for fun and i got way more out of it than i did with my bakugan which to be honest did anybody know how to use bakugan like everybody just talks about who knows how to play the pokemon tcg but who knows how to play with the freaking bakugan and then I have incredible memories like in fifth grade, my friend Ian and I, we had this like 9,000 HP Gothitelle card, right? And then I had a, like a regular Snorlax that had like 120 HP and we would fight using these cards and we thought it was the coolest thing ever at the time. And then I remember when my mom finally got us, got me a theme deck, right? And bought me a theme deck and Ian and I, I was in my room learning how to play and I remember it being the funnest thing ever we would just switch decks back and forth and play with them and that's some of the greatest memories i have now i know this whole coronavirus thing is going on right now but after it's over i highly suggest that you go out with a friend and you both buy a pokemon theme deck because it will be some of the best money you ever spent i can't even tell you how many countless hours i've gotten out of collecting pokemon and as of recent getting back into pokemon and i know i've spent a a lot of money but you don't need to spend a lot of money to play the pokemon card game you could spend 50 dollars max and have so much playable cards just for leisure fun that it's very well worth it so whenever that day comes where the government tells us we can resume with our normal life activities go out with a friend spend ten dollars on a theme deck and have some freaking fun because a lot of you guys i know you're not that old and you still can make a ton of great memories Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also comment how you would rank this list because I know mine is probably, you know, very controversial and no one will agree with me. But I highly recommend uh, you doing it because I just want to see what you guys have to comment. And also, I forgot that I ran a poll on Twitter for this and my YouTube channel. Now, it pretty much came out to how I expected it would come out to be because, you know, everybody loves the Pokemon DS game more than anything and i feel like a lot of people definitely don't even know like the farthest they've ever done with a card game is collect so i really appreciate the people who decided to participate in the polls and i also appreciate you guys for watching this video and hopefully you enjoyed it so anyways guys i love you all and i'll see you in the next video peace